What is up YouTube? Dan here from dancetube.tv and today I have my first impressions on the brand new camera, the Polaroid Cube Plus, which was only just released. I've been testing this now for minimum about four or five hours, been putting it through its paces, testing out the audio, testing out the picture quality, the video quality, all the different formats, and testing out the brand new app as well. Prior to that, I had been playing around with the original Polaroid Cube for months on end, and I've been fascinated with the overall experience. I really love the cube. I love the design, I love the idea behind it, I love the punchy colours, and it's just a cool little action camera. But when I picked up the Cube Plus, there were a few things that I noticed. Firstly, we have a Wi-Fi button now, so we can connect to an app and we can see what the camera sees, we can play around with a few settings, we can view the videos and photos that we've taken. There's options for time lapses, slow-mo, and then you've got video and photo. So you've got some great settings as well, and it's still got that simplistic one button mechanic on top. So it's tap once for a picture, tap twice, and it'll take a video. You hold it to turn it on, and you have the light at the front there, which will indicate uh, if you have a low battery, if it's charging, if you need to change SD cards, whatever it is, that's all indicated from this one light at the front there. And the other improvement was the back. So they now have this pop-off design, which is simplistic and easy to get into. Previously, you had to kind of screw it, and it was kind of awkward to unscrew it, as you can see there. Most people would just get a coin to do that, which just becomes annoying when you're out and about filming. But this one is a lot easier. And then they also included an SD card, which was another issue that I had with the original. For some reason, they didn't mention that you have to have a class 10 SD card, otherwise it will corrupt the file. So if you didn't have the right micro SD, then it just would not work. But with this one, they included a Polaroid micro SD, which is a very nice touch. That was in the pack, ready to go. And I've also noticed it's a lot easier to access the micro SD now. Simple pop out and you're ready to go. It's a lot easier now and they've simplified everything. It's definitely a nicer package overall. When it comes to its biggest competitor, the GoPro Session, in terms of price, this bad boy is just blowing it out of the water. The Cube Plus is retailing for like 150 right now, 149. And the Session, I have no idea right now. The last time I looked, it was 400 plus. I can't remember if they pulled it down or if it's still in that 420 range, but it's around $400 for this, 150 for this. So in terms of price, ridiculous difference there. You're definitely getting a lot more value for money with this. You can buy multiple Cube Pluses for what you're getting in the session. But then again, the session does have some great features and it has a fantastic design to it. It also is 10 meters waterproof, which the session is only weatherproof. From what I've read, I think it's one meter waterproof, but they're only quoting a weatherproof ability. So I'm kind of nervous about testing that out. I will test it out in the future, but this bad boy, the session, 10 meters straight out of the box, ready to go. And it also has the LCD screen on top there, which is a nice addition. You can actually display all of the different settings, which is a new update to the session here. You can display what this is shooting at and a few other settings on top there. When it comes to the functionality and the usability of the Cube Plus here, I think it's perfect for a consumer. It's super simplistic to use. It's very reliable. It pulls out a fantastic picture. They've got great color that's coming out of this camera here. Um, it isn't as sharp as the GoPro session, but it definitely has better color, and it has overall probably a better image in my opinion. The one downside would be audio. The audio is not fantastic, but if you're gonna be using this for family holidays, for random adventures, or whatever it may be, this is a fantastic little action camera here. When you are ready to go with the Cube Plus, all you have to do is press and hold the Wi-Fi button on top, it will start flashing, and then you can discover it on your device here and that's via the Wi-Fi system, so this is kind of working as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So you tap on that, and it will connect to it, and then you access the Cube Plus application, which I have had no issues with the application. It's really well developed. It's simplistic, there's not too much to it, but it works, which, like I said, is perfect for all of the consumers out there who just want a simple camera that's ready to go. Perfect for family holidays, perfect for whatever you need it for. It's gonna work very well and it's gonna be very reliable. You launch into the app and it's as simple as that. You put in the password and then it will remember everything. You tap down the bottom there and now you can see there's the camera there. There is me. Ooh, very nice. And it's pretty responsive. I've noticed I was playing around with the GoPro version, their little application, and it's got quite a lot of delay. This one's actually very responsive, you can see. There's a slight bit of delay there, but it's usable. You can work around it and you can definitely make it work. Through the app itself, you actually have a few options here. 
We have frames per second and that can go up to 60 frames per second for 720p and 1080p and then you also have 1440p which only does 30 frames per second um, but in my opinion 1080p 60 frames per second it does a fantastic job beautiful image quality and it really just does what you need it's simple that's what I love about it it's no thought process you're just ready to go and then we'll have a look at some videos that I've taken so this is the interface here when you check out your recent videos and whatever else you've been doing it tells you at the top there how much you've used of your micro SD and then you can click on recent for example and it will come up with an iPhone-esque kind of layout it's got a nice library layout simple to kind of scroll through and maneuver through and then I will just tap on this just a nine second clip it's very easy to play back videos and check out the pictures that you've taken on your device straight away through the application and that was something that I noticed was just so simplistic you jump straight into it quick loading times there's no buffering it's just instantaneous it's fantastic and it works very well so that's a plus and I'm really liking that feature. You have a few other options. You can add timestamp, cycle recording, uh, the camera buzzer volume can also go up and down. You have clip length that can be unlimited or you can kind of chop it down and make it to a limited set. You also have the recent pictures and videos that you have taken and they are in this nice little layout here. And then when you tap down the bottom, it will take you back to what the cube is actually seeing right now, which currently is my hand and now it's me. In the bottom left you have options for pictures, videos, you have a time lapse and also a slow-mo option. So you can see very simple to tap into it and choose an option takes you into it and then you can see your most recent as well. Overall for the price point of $150 for the Cube Plus, I am very pleased with it. I love my original Cube, but this one has definitely taken my heart. I'm loving this, I'm gonna be using this all the time. And accompanied with the application where you can save your pictures and videos straight away and share them to the world, as well as being able to see what the camera sees through the application and to be able to customize everything through the app, it's just simple, I love it. It's a great little camera, great little app, and I really can't knock it so far. I'm excited to test this out some more and see how everything goes. The only thing that really knocks me about this camera here is the audio, but again, it is an action camera, so I guess maybe you're not really looking into the audio side of things, but that would be an improvement for the future. Maybe to their defense, you don't really need audio for action sports or for adventuring or whatever it may be. But for some families out there, they may want some audio or some decent audio. It definitely has audio, but it's just not fantastic. So some families out there may want audio to record their kid's first word or maybe to record some sort of play that their kid's at or whatever it may be, a baseball game. You want to record that audio as well. So that's another dimension, another level of audio and visual, you want both kind of combined to create this fantastic overall image. And they definitely have the image fantastically produced in here. The color is beautiful, everything else is nice. It's just that audio. But it's a great improvement over the original and I'm very excited to see where Polaroid go in the future with their Cube range. Fantastic little product. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below, guys. I will have those links in the description below to check this out. But that's the end of the video. So make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.